What's up, Gardening with Guthrie subscribers? This is Wes, and this is going to be a month update. I think it's been about four weeks since the last video that I have posted about the garden. So, here is the tomato patch, the pineapple tomatoes, or fatty bobatty. And then a bunch of these big boys over here are just. I mean, they're just popping up everywhere. Flowers are going crazy. Uh, I suspect that's because regular pruning of uh, leaves and suckers will make your plant continue to grow and be lush, lushful and uh, produce many fruits. And if you keep it watered well, and the fruits will always look perfect. And then over here I planted some more romaine lettuce where some carrots weren't coming up. But uh, out of nowhere, the black and purple and all the other multicolored carrots started popping up out of nowhere. So I was really surprised about that. They weren't getting very much light. And flowers looking great. The watermelons aren't really getting any bigger, and I'm worried about that, so I think maybe keeping in the five-gallon buckets might have done that. Cherry tomatoes, I've been picking off of that recently. They're starting to ripen. They're tasting real good. And then all my little lemon trees here, and the Fuji apple tree. And more lemon trees. We got a grapefruit tree right there that I planted from seed and pomegranate trees so that's going to be awesome to see those grow up over the years onions are still a mess turnips are looking great the radishes are just bolting like crazy and uh, for any of you who gardens out there I'd like your opinion on this, but I think I may have found a deterrent for uh, brassica type plants like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, all those. Uh, they've stayed around quite a while, and I've seen those cabbage moths, white moths, coming around, fluttering around them. But since these all started bolting and producing flowers, I see them more regularly, the cabbage moths over here uh, pollinating them for me and so you end up with a whole crap load of seed pods and I love it so I'll definitely have some seeds for the subscribers this year I'll have a drawing or a contest or something I don't know plenty of sunflowers doing their sunflower thing zinnias can't wait to collect all of these flower seeds. <clears throat> Haven't really watered too much. I need to get out here and water some more. All the bell pepper plants are looking great and the hot pepper plants looking greater. Then just been taking some more clones of tomatoes. I want to try to gr grow tomatoes inside. Uh, yeah, the coffee plant needs watered bad. Cacti, of course they do well. Don't really have to water them. And then the romaine lettuces I planted in the plastic cups, they're all doing real well too. I'm loving that. And then the turnips that I planted in ramen noodle cups. And the radishes I planted in ramen noodle cups, they're doing well. Flowers continue to do well. Marigolds are starting to open up, so I cannot wait to collect all those seeds. More sunflowers coming up. Zinnias. Petunias. And then, <clears throat> this one's some people call it moonflower, but I found out it's actually called uh, Devil's Trumpet. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. 
but I'm telling you, they basically produce huge flowers that only bloom at night, and they look really beautiful, so had to grow them, because I'm just a flower nut and a vegetable nut. Trying to do my thing. And then all the tomatoes out here are doing real well. There's a vine, if you can't see, attacking all the plants. It's a flower that I planted. I think it's morning glory. I'm not certain. But yeah, everything is doing real well. The rosemary's getting overtaken. Need to water my plants here. All the tomato clones aren't looking too well, but just a little bit of water and bring them back to life. And then all the carrots, they're doing pretty well here, so need to get them watered as well. Got the truck fixed and up and running today, so she starts and I can drive, so that's going to be awesome. Got to get some brake line put on her, though. All the cucumbers, squash, zucchini, pumpkins, they're all doing well and just growing like crazy. Finally got some stuff coming up in here. We got some kale there, spinach there. These are eggplant. I don't know what's going on with them, but back there are some beets and they're doing pretty good. And then the pepper plants, they're all producing hot peppers look at them oh. oh just hot looking at them the uh peaches and cream bicolor corn didn't really do too well because i think i planted it too close together so i'm gonna just let it go and do its thing there and at the end of the year harvest the cobs hopefully they'll all be dry by then and then uh save what seeds i'm able to and then the Indian corn, it's doing fabulous. It's still growing tall and showing no signs of tasseling. I can't wait to see this in about a month. Probably be, right now it's looking almost six foot from where I stand. So it's got another two, three feet to grow. It's gonna be crazy. And then over here, got more, got two rows of sunflowers. They're all kicking butt. My okra, I plant them real close like that together because the leaves are kind of spiny and they irritate the skin. I figured out that if you plant them closely together, they, they still get tall, but they don't get as bushy and uh, the fruits stay uh, three to four inches small, which is the perfect pickling picking size. And then five rows of green beans, they're all doing well, so. <sighs> Still got lots of land to till up and plant while we have yet sunlight and good weather, so. Thanks for subscribing, and can't wait to show you the update soon. See you guys.